Hi everybody, it's Allie, and welcome to the Chibitronics YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about combining different kinds of circuits in one card. So let's get started. We're going to start with my card base and my circuit building platform. Cute little penguin, he's gonna slide back and forth, and there's also a push here indicator on the front. And we're gonna bring in some rainbow fade LED light stickers, and we're just gonna kind of map them out on the upper part of that card. We want them only to appear in the sky because we're kind of mimicking the aurora. So all you do is you take your stencil and you're just going to trace the shape that you're going to use in that particular situation. In this case, it's our little floral. And now we're gonna do some regular um, stickers here. And they are kind of, actually they are triangular. I'm using the wrong stencil, but that won't matter anyway. We're just gonna put four of them randomly spaced across and in between those rainbow fades. All right, we're going to use this as our switch and we're gonna place it over the gap or underneath where our little penguin sits because when you press the little penguin's feet, it's gonna turn on some lights. Let's add our battery holder. We're gonna have two circuits, so we're gonna actually have two batteries in this card. To stick these on, you just peel off the backer and you're going to plop it down on your card making surface. We're going to start mapping out the negative side of our circuit. We're gonna go from the inside of the battery holder out, in this case, to our three rainbow fade stickers. We're just going to hit up the negative sides of those stickers. We're gonna finish off this particular circuit by extrapolating our positive line, in this case indicated by our red pen. And we're now going to take it out from the battery holder and we are going to go over and collect all three of those positive sides of our floral stickers. And I don't wanna cross my lines if I can avoid it. So I'm gonna go around that little sticker and there's number three. And we're gonna build a little bridge there. That's what that little mark is. So there is the circuit for those three stickers. Now, we're gonna make a slide switch on the other side, which is going to grab all four of those white LED light stickers. We're gonna go across that flippy panel all the way to the battery. Then we're going to take those four negative ends and we're just gonna randomly put them into that little folded piece and I'm gonna show you how the circuit works here towards the end. It's only gonna go into the flap and let's start the positive side of this. This one's a little bit more complicated so you've gotta gather up all the tops of those uh, triangular pieces. So I'm trying my best to um, hit all of the tops without making it too difficult on myself. And of course, I don't want to cross any of the other lines if I can avoid it. And we're gonna capture all four of those white stickers. There we go. So there's our completed circuit. All right, let's apply our conductive fabric tape. And we're gonna start on the slide switch First, we're going to start underneath the battery. That's why we're putting it in that little circular drawing there. We're going to follow that blue line. And again, the this line does not actually touch any of those stickers because when you close this little flap, it's going to touch the four ends of those stickers. And it's so much easier to show you at the end. All right, we're gonna continue on adding tape to the lines of the negative side of both circuits. All it is is just peel the backer and trim away the conductive fabric tape. Cuts very, very easily with just a simple pair of scissors. We're gonna to go to the other side of the circuit now 
and we're going to go inside that battery holder and we're going to follow all of the blue lines to capture the negative ends of those three rainbow stickers. There we go. There's our completed negative side. Let's start by adding our battery. And I'm literally going to attach it to the circuit by just taping it in place. So we're going to follow the red lines in this case. And we want to capture all of the tops of the stickers. I'm going to do a little shortcut here. I will come back and fix that I haven't quite captured that whole sticker, but we're going to just continue on with one length of tape. I try not to cut my tape if I can avoid it. I just find I have uh, better circuits if I can do that. All right. Now we have a crossover where we have to take the positive side over the negative. So I'm going to create a little paper bridge. That's all it is. It's just a little piece of cardstock taped over so that now I have a little bridge that I can take this particular piece of tape over and across that negative line there. So we're just going to go up and capture all three of these stickers and you can just bend it. it this stuff will go around corners easily too. You do what you kind of need to. There we go. And see, I fixed that little end there to capture the top of the sticker and there's our little paper bridge. All right, let's apply our stickers. We're gonna put our rainbow LED stickers on first. So it's just a peel and stick off the backer here. Just making sure that the negative side of the sticker touches the negative side and the positive side of the sticker touches the positive side. And each sticker is individually labeled as to which side of the circuit is which. So it's very easy to tell just by looking at the sticker, which side goes with which side. All right, let's add some white LED light stickers this time. These are just straight white lights, whereas the rainbows actually fade from red right through the spectrum. So we have some animating stickers and some regular LED stickers. So again, I just want the negative side of the sticker to touch the negative lines of the circuit and positive sides of the sticker touch the positive sides of the lines. Let's fix up our battery holder here. We're just going to peel and stick one of our C-shaped foams inside and it holds our little battery in nice and tight. All right, let's give it a test. Our lights are working. Excellent. So here's where the slide works. So every time you put pressure over top the end of one of those lines, you activate the particular light that is up above it. Let's see this little fella in action. So I'm pressing down on Mr. Penguin's little belly there and sliding him across. So as he's skating by, he lights up. Isn't that cute? And Aurora Borealis has been completed. Thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe and like. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.